scrum there for Gill College. Gill College has granted another opportunity now through a scrum. It's a scrum here for Gill College. Cradock High School still leading by 22 points to nil. Cradock High School still leading by 22 points to nil. We are almost heading to the big game of the day. Big game of the day. Here we see Kamvelise, Tali, Faku. Kamvelise and Faku, I'm, I'm being corrected here. <laughs> you know, it's been, a, it's been a while from being in the career. I'm used to coastal environments. This warmth, yeah, it's quite problematic for me. But the squad ball is out now for Gale College. Solid defense there from Kreda High School. The ball is in the hands of Gale College. Ball has been kicked in the middle of the field, right in the hands of. And the referee says, Credo High School was offside. Gill College. Oh, shot ball there by Gill College. Lovely boy play there by Gill College. A knock forward there by Gill College. The ball goes to. Oh, lovely day here at Cradock High School as the ball comes. And they conclude with 22 points to no.
Lovely day here at Cradock High School. After a two-year break from COVID, where teams could not participate in such a FNB classic clashes. If we can remember clearly, it was in two years, three years in fact, back in 2019, when Cradock High School was playing against Yale College in their 150th reunion at Somerset East. Now, Cradock High School is celebrating their 50th reunion here in Cradock in the Kwakha Park. As the home side's captain lead, show and sub two. And also Mr. Khair from Gill College, the captain. And now it's time provided for the ceremony. Can we calmly be quiet, please, on the pavilion? A very special moment now for both headmasters and the teams. Ja, Cruzet, uh, vooral dat jullie allemaal opstaan voor die schoollid van Gill College. Bye, thank you. Volgende is die scorelid van. Ja, oké. Okay. Voor ons die kreeg die kradok scorelid gaan zingen, is dan ook zo verrassend. Kie.
Nou ja, kunnen ze niet voor haar allemaal staan voor die schoollied van Hoerschool Krarok. Baie dankie. Kom ons kijk na die eerste spanne van Giel College. Nummer 15 is Lesegwe Mentor. Kijk, kan jy dit voor ons voor? Right, on nummer 15 we have Lesegwe Mentor. 14 is Subalele Mgabaza, 13 is Luke Daniels, 12 is Malcolm Rafferty, 11 is Nipa Williams, 10 is Jordan Lee Daniels, Bronson Trezias, Liabona Holko on 8, 7 is Waylon Davids, 6 is Wesley Dickens, 5 Emilio Phyllis, 4 Logan Broncos, 3 Reinhard Geier and the captain, 2 is Izzy Pile Yose, and number one, Ivan Klu. Baie dankie vir die onderwijse res van Giel College. Maak het so'n bykie makkeliker. Kom ons kijk na Krarok School, nummer 15, Keanu van Wijk, 14. Sibulele Pajo, 13. Mariko Isaacs, 12. Jakku Slavert, 11. Ruyven Boysen, Nummer 10, die loskakel, Niel Slavert. Die onderkaptein, skramskakel, nummer 9, Rowan Smith. 8, Luandre Olivier. 7, Denzel Meijers. En dan die kaptein, nummer 6, Flank, Sjouwen Saptu. Die slot, Elieswe Thali. 4, Vikas Loots. 3, Kenny Collet. 2, Zander Oosthuizen. En nummer 1, Jandre Bota.
Like. Ladies and gentlemen, we please ask that you will step back uh, behind the boundary lines. Um, otherwise, it could become dangerous for to you and to the players. Dames and heren, ons vraag dat die achter die FNB lijn sal inskuif, asjeblief. Dit kan gevaarlik raak vir u en vir die spelers. Baie dankie. I remember you when I saw a schoolboy here. Really? Yeah, I think I've you been around for a long time. Very, very active that time. I know, for a fact. Lovely. Hello, hello. Okay, Sibulele chasing the ball. Craddock's back line. Oh, man! Lovely Good play tackle. there by... Keanu van Veik. Keanu van Veik, a lovely play there by him. Malkin Rafferty, a good tackle. First scrum of the game now here at Kwaka Park, 10 meters to the try line. Bronson putting the ball in for Guild College. A great scrum there by Creator High School trying to push over Guild College. The referee, Mr. Yuan, calls them again for another scrum attempt. It's a lovely rugby day here at the Kwaka Park in the Karoo. 50th reunion. Guild College taking against Creator High in their own home field. If I can take you back to the past three years where the last inter-schools took place in Guild College, celebrating their 150th reunion, they lost the day against Craddock High. And the Guild backline's running, and Sibulele, Kabaz has got the ball, and it's looking good. Great defense there by Rowan Poison. Ball is in the hands of Keanu van Veik. Short ball there by Rowan Smith. Rowan Smith again on the ball, top of the goal. Give it again to the loose head. What a pump there by him. Moving forward as he goes and gain meters. Quick ball there from Rowan Smith. In the hands of um, Neil Slobot and Yaku unfortunately knocks the ball. But the referee says it's a penalty for the home side. Experiencing their slightly medical issues but the paramedics are attending. Seems like it's even clear the guild number one who is down. This opportunity gives the home side a time to relax and to prepare for the game in terms of their game plan, how they'll move from here, strategize as the guild's number one, Ivan, um, is on the ground. Keanu van Veik, a boy from Cradock High School, has the ball in hand, ready and prepared to kick the ball to touch. And it seems that um, Ivan is fine, he's taking his place. Keanu van Veik ready to kick for touch. 
Let's see what the young man, capable man, can do with this ball. Keanu van Wijk has the ball in hand. The referee van, van der Maer were just ensuring that ev everyone on the Guild College side is ready so that the game can resume. Seemingly, there's a replacement that's needed from the Kiel College side. Early injury, Kian van Weij kicks the ball to touch. It is indeed the, the line-out now for Kruadok High School. Kenny Collett, the man to do things happen here at Kruadok High School. Kenny Collett, the brother of Andrew Collett, who also played for many, many years in this um, yellow jersey for Cradock High School. It's a mole now for Cradock High School. Slightly moving forward. Slightly moving forward. Just over 22 meters as they move forward. Cradock High School moves 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 forward. Just under five meters away from the try line. Let's see what they can be done. Show and subdue with the ball in hand. The referee confirms that it is indeed a knockback. Cruella High School has the ball and the referee says it's a penalty to Cruella High School. So it's a five yard scrum for Cruella. Five meter scrum for Cruella High School. Five meter scrum for Cradock High School. Rowan Smith has the ball in hand. Takes it out. Neil Slobot has the ball. Short ball there too. Oh, unfortunately lost by his brother Yaku Slobot. Neil Collect the ball. Neil Collect the ball. Williams. Sibabalo Poyo saving the try there. Sibabalo Poyo saving the try there. Solid defense from Cradock High School. Emilia Phillips with the ball. Denzel Mayers with a great tackle there. Referee says it is indeed the penalty for Kill College. And we're experiencing there a few medical issues. But the paramedics are attending to that. And the man down is. Oh, it's Marco Isaacs. Mariko Isaacs on the floor. Experiencing difficulties the Deputy Principal of the school, calls Neyman, entering the field. As we can also see the Director of First Aid in Kredok High School, Mrs. Olifir, also attending to Mariko Isaacs. With a few individuals from Relay. The medical company. I see that um, Evan Klee has returned to the field. Kills number one after his injury. Seems that he's okay. For those at home listening at home, the score is nil nil for both teams. And I always say that inter schools are a game away, they decide for the entire season. You can have a lot of the best season ever, but if you lose or win, <laughs> it also decides on the inter schools. Very, very true. Mm. Mr. Drew Ness, the head coach of the first team of Kerak High School. Just be up before the polls, trying to ensure that the game plan is being implemented by the boys. Mariko Isaac seemingly is leaving the field. Let us just give a round of applause to Mariko Isaacs. Has to leave the field. There is a replacement.
Mariko Isaacs has left the field due to an arm injury. Right, number 15, Luzika Mentor is going to take aim at the posts. Fullback of Gill College, Mintor is taking the kick just to over 50 meters wide. Mintor kicking there. Mentor striking the ball. Unfortunately, it was an unsuccessful penalty kick. Great Oak High School attacking Gill College. Rowan Smith, Whitey by the name Kia Kenny Collett having the ball in hand. But bursting, bumping the eye there from Gill College. Neil Slabart, Yako Slabart. Hey, Poyo, Poyo. Poyo has the ball in hand. Great. Clean there by Cradock High School. Rowan Smith has the ball in hand. Zandre Porta has the ball in hand. Loose forward. Sherwin, the captain of the home side, has the ball in hand. Vickers Lewis. Gaining a little bit of minutes of the day. That was a good tackle by number six. Wesley Dickens. It's a scrum now. It is a scrub man. The referee, Mr. Yuan from the Mava, calls the paramedics to assist. Elise Vitali experiencing blood issues there. Elise Vitali, the number five for Cradock High School, experiencing blood issues there. Being assisted there by the director of first aid in Kerala High School, Mrs. Olifir. Just a short water break here for both teams. The score remains nil nil for those listening at home. Elise Vitali walking back to the field after experiencing blood issues. It's a scrum now for Gill College. Number nine, Bronson Trezias putting the ball into the scrum. We're going to put the ball in. Jordan Daniels with the ball. Oh, what that? Coming to her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ball is back to Cradock High School. Rowan Smith, box kick there in the middle of the field. Things changed there by Denzel Mayer. Nipa Williams picking up. All of you going there. Great tackle there by Cradock High School. The referee, Mr. Johan from the Mara, says the ball belongs to Cradock High School. It's a penalty for Cradock High School. Keanu van Weyck kicking for touch. Lovely kick there by Keanu van Weyck. The fullback of Craddock High School. Second attempt to the try line for Craddock High School. Kenny Collett, brother of Andrew Collett, an old scholar of Craddock High School, who also played in this yellow and blue jersey. Has to throw the ball inside. Let's see what he can do. Elise Vitali has the ball. They mow. Credit High School mows. The referee says it's an advantage for Credit High School as they mow forward. Mowing forward. This is an advantage for them, Credit High School. Quick ball by. Oh! Yaku Slobart. Experiencing a little bit of difficulties with handling errors.
Penalty for Cradle High School again. Opportunity again for Kenny Collett. Second year in playing first team rugby. Final year in matric. Lovely throw there to Denzel Mayers. A great move from Kerok High School. As they move, as they move forward, moving forward, moving forward, as they move forward, just beyond three meters away from try line. Rowan Smith wants the ball. But it continues the forward drives forward. The referee is about to confirm, says going to a team TMO with his assistant ref there, Mr. Davids. But I think it's a try. Well, what are your thoughts with that? Uh, it looked to me as of the try is being awarded, so yes. Yeah, try has been awarded there for the Craddock side team. Um, it's five points to nil in the favor of Cradock High School. Five points to nil in the favor of Cradock High School. There's still yet to come a conversion, which if it's successful, it will be seven to nil. Keanu van Veek has this opportunity to kick for the post. The score now is five points to nil. Keanu van Veek is granted this opportunity again to kick for the post. As the score remains five points to nil in the favor of the home side. Lovely kick there by Keanu van Veig, making it seven points to nil in the favor of Craddock High School. Seven points to nil in the favor of Craddock High School. Keanu makes things easy and easy for the team. Number 15, Lizigo Mintour with a kickoff. It's a deep kick. Well taken by Craddock. Luan Olifir takes the ball. Good tackle by number 12 and number 6. R kick bo box kick from Rowan Smith in the hands off. Uh, oh, Yaku Slaba taking the ball. Gaining meters there for his team. Rowan Smith passing it to Kenny Collett. Showing sub to as he moves forward. Oh, man, unfortunately, they took him down. Rowan Smith. Hey. He leaves Vitaly taking the ball there by the name Cop. Craddock High School is moving slightly forward. Neil Slabart. Jakub Slabart. Oh! Great tackle by Gill College. High tackle, Mr. Johan van der Merwe. The referee confirms. There's an advantage for Craddock. Ron Smith. Poyo there. Um, forward there, the referee claims it's a penalty for Craddock High School. High tackle there by Gale College. Kunzi Mandosa go to Kutela Lesekil College. Conan Jing Nagas Goy. Got against Tembil Nobel Kelas or Kalas Kulungi says in Baza Mazal. Kiano van Veik being granted another opportunity now again to kick for the post. Remember, the score is 7 to nil in favor of the home side. Kiano van Veik.
Um, allow me to say, Ru Rowan Smith, Nicole Mwati will be putting the ball. It's in. Okay, Nicole got the ball. It's an eighth man ball. Only feet has the ball. Yes, man. Oh, Keanu. Keanu, he goes, man. Oh, he's taken down by Gill College. The referee says the ball is out. It's a line out now for Gill College. Line out now for Gill College. Isipile Yose is given an opportunity to throw the ball. Uh, Luanda Olifield takes the ball. The, the eighth man of the team. Ball in the hands off. The loose forward, loose head off. Kerakai, Andre Dwota. Great tackle there by Gill College. Ball in the hands of Yaku Slabat. Interestingly enough. Oh, Olifield has the ball in hand. Kerala Kasko still going forward with the ball. Must uh, you run from the mad with the referee? Says, so, gentlemen, can you just please disperse? I want to see something. It's a scrum for Gill College. Isipile Yose again is granted another opportunity. Bronson is given an opportunity to put the ball inside. Stolen by Rowan Smith. Neil Slavart! Oh, 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 oh! Sensational moment here for Neil Slavart. Sensational moment here for Neil Slavart. Making sure that things are happening. Second score off. Twice score off the day. Neil Slavart making sure that things are happening for his home team. During his final year in Quillock High School. Played first team last year. He's playing this year. And he has a lot to do in his future. Keanu van Weck again has an opportunity to take the ball. Keanu van Weck. Let's see what Keanu van Weg can do with this ball. Humble man, relaxed and chillaxed guy, one could say, striking the ball. Oh, what's that? Tell me what's that? Keanu van Weg making sure now the team is at 17 points to nil. 17 points to nil in the favor of Craddock High School. Keanu van Weg once again making things happen for Credit High School. What a young, talented guy. In the hands there of Zander Bota. Boxy Grave ball from Rowan Whitey. They call him Whitey. Solid defense there, high tackle. High tackle there. Let's wait what the ref has to say. Oh! Doesn't seem if the ref saw that high tackle. Yeah, I doubt he even saw it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> all they say, we are just commentators. <laughs> Rowan Smith, Neil Slobot. Scrum there for Woody, 
Uh, Whitey given another opportunity there to make sure that things happen. Here's Guantad in a five meter scrum to put in the ball. Kenny inserts it. Uh, uh, Rowan inserts it. Kenny takes it in. Kenny again on the ball. Whitey again on the ball. Keanu. Neil Slavot taking the. Oh, lost the ball but lost it backwards. Still in the hands of Kredok High. Oh, they're just two meters away from the twilight and then the referee calls them and says. The ball belongs to Gill College. The ball is indeed Gill College. The score remains 17 to 10 in the favor of Cradock High School. Kebunagala can do a good job. He can learn a piece of my city, Gill College. The Panzico and the Lelo Glumzal. Korake. About the Balapekae and Bafana, about Kokelo and Guiagalum, um, Kokeloa, what we show in sub two. Bapega, Pamil. Scrum there, five meter scrum. Four. Bronson to take it out. Lost forward there by Gill College. It's a ball, it's a scrum now, five meter scrum now for Craddock High School. Kerala High School, Rowan Smith giving another opportunity to put the ball in, the ball in with the assistance of Kenny to put it inside, make sure it goes according to the way. Neil Slabbard is ready there. It's an, it's an Nathan ball. It's played there by Rowan Smith. Still on the field. Lovely ball there by Yandre Bwata. Loose prop from Kredok High. A long arm there from the referee saying it's a penalty for Kredok High School, penalizing Gill College for not rolling away from the ball. The score remains 17 2 0 in the favor of Kredok High School. 17 2 0 in the favor of Kredok High School. It's a penalty for Cradock High School. Oh, oh! There we go. There Cradock High School goes. Not sure whether it's Yandre Porter or... Yeah, I think it's Yandre Porter scoring the try there. Making their way to 22 points to nil. 22 points to nil. There's still a conversion to come. There is still a conversion to come. Keanu Isaacs still has to make things. Keanu van Weg, sorry. Still has to make things happen. For Cradock High School. Points now are. Points now are 22 to nil, but there's still a conversion to come. Keanu van Weyck, the kicking guy. Keanu van Weyck, the kicking guy. Let's see what he can do with this ball. Oh, what a moment for him. All oh, the first balls and conversions and penalties. He made sure that I uh, in. So now the score is indeed 24 to nil in the favor of the home side. Twenty-four to nil in the favor of the home side. And yes, in those are good tickwens and only we call us a kill college. Got I get. They are trying their utmost best to defend Cradock High School. And one of the things I always say is the fact that when you play at home, you must make sure that you are playing because people travel all the way, like 100 and something kilometers away from Cradock just to make sure this game happens. So when you play at home, it's always the best part of it. 
Denzel Myers. Neil Slabat kicking the ball out of their territory. Bronson starting an attack from the back. Slips. Kill got a nice drive going there. Wayland. Wayland. And the referee shows a advantage for Gill College. Um, Craddock not rolling away. Gill College has got an opportunity again to have the ball in hand to make things happen. The scrum off there. Bronson having the ball, passing it to their loose prop. Ivan carrying. Oh, Ivan quite well. going for there. Bronson getting the ball. Oh. And the pass to Sibelele doesn't go well. Once again, Evan going with the drive. And Jordan knocks the ball. Lovely kick there by Keanu von Veik. Kicking for touch there as he makes his kick to 22 meters just inside the territory of Guild College. It is a line out again there for the home side. Players delaying the play. Sorry, my bad. Line out here for Guild College. You'll excuse us, guys. We're having technical difficulties. And it's not really, the monitor's not really clear, so at times, just please bear with us. Easy Pile, Jose putting the ball into the line out. Whoa, ball lost there by Gill College. And the referee says, let's go back there. For those who just joined us, the score is 24-2-0 in the favor of the home side, Craddock High School. It's a big game here. Craddock High School celebrating their 50th reunion of play, of being a school together with girls and boys, of a school of having girls and boys. Because if I can take you back, you will know that it was a girls' school. But changes happened, and in 1972, it became a girls and a boys school. So they're celebrating their 50th anniversary of being Craddock High School. Lovely scrum there. What a burst there by your college. Bronson with a kick. Taken by number 15 from Craddock. Referee says it is indeed. Uh, people are not releasing the balls, therefore it's a ball to Gill College. The referee saying that people are not releasing the ball, therefore it's a ball to Gill College. Let's see what Flav can do with the ball. Jordan Daniels is going to kick for the line. Great kick there by Gill College. Mr. Daniels. Daniels. 
kicking the ball there. And it's a line out now for Gill College. And if you're joining us only now, it's been a long day for Gill College in Craddock. And the Gill back line is on the move. Lovely check. Um, and that is indeed the first half of the game with the score being 24 to 0. Catch us soon in the next five, ten minutes after the first half. The score is 24 to 0 in the favor of the home side.
Uh, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it's a sensational moment here for the Cradock High School. Making it more look at it easy in the sense that showing us how CHS is done for the abbreviation of their own school. It is a lovely day here. Uh, everyone is over excited, enjoying the day as we head into the last, last, last um, half of the game of the first team. Last half of the game of the first team. Let's see what can be done here. Let's see. Maybe the guild pack comes back with a vengeance. Yeah, I always say, ma'am, that um, rugby is an unpredictable game. So anything can happen in the rugby game. So we all have hopes. But Kirloch High School has this thing. I see. Um, you know, it's very difficult for chickens to be able to, to cope with zebras. Hey, in hey, fact. hey, we <laughs> not chickens. <laughs> Birds. <laughs> as far as I know, a gilly horn, if I can swap over to Afrikaans, a horn can a very gefaarlijke ding raak. So, kom ons hoop, the gilly horn is raak gefaarlijk. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, the best way to describe it by Mrs. Olifiri saying that the kwaga is so bad. So, uh, it's going to be a lovely day here. It is, in fact, if I can take you back now for what's been happening around under 14 winning Guild College by 29 points to 5. And that was a knock by the benign of Craddock, so it will be a Guild ball. I'll do it, man. I'm just committing again quickly. Leabona, Bronson, Malcolm stepping nicely. And it seems that that was a forward pass. Another injury, number four leaving the field. Ruan Smith giving a opportunity there to put in the ball. Olivier getting the ball, the eighth man. Oh, Olivier! What is this young man doing here? Olivier! Great defense there by Gill College. Good tackle by Lazika in turn, number 15. Ruan Smith on the ball. Joandre Bota on the ball. It's again Ruan Smith on the ball, passing it out. And the ball is stolen by Bronson. Bronson has the ball in hand. Turn over to Gill College. Ball is on Gill College side.
Sims. As if they're struggling there on the move. Oh, what a pass there by Bronson. Kill College player. Kill College with the ball in hand. Oh! And Vasquez lost. But penalty it's there. Advantage to Kill College. JJ has been called by the referee. Yellow card. Yellow card there by the referee. JJ is leaving the field. Due to uh, wrongly mis interception. So he has to go for 10 minutes there. Bronson with a line kick. Uh, even as they change their mind and they're going for a drive. Ball coming back, Bronson. Isipile. Oh, Gil College is driving there for Hatswab. Unfortunately, assistant referee Mr. Shaw claims that the ball is out. Therefore, Talana out for Cradock High School. It seems as if the Gil team is playing with a uh, high intensity. Second half has brought intensity from the Gill College side. Really, literally high intensity from Gill College side. I mean, you learn from mistakes, and I always say, if you didn't do good in the first half, second half is your opportunity to make changes and improve in your game plan. So, Gill College is trying to prove or justify those facts. Line out there for Kredok High. Kenny Collard is granted another opportunity to put the ball inside. Good throw there, Elise, and good in good received in good hands by Elise Vitali. It's a more there by Cradock High. More driven there by Cradock High School. It's moving. It's going forward. More unfortunately, the mall has collapsed. Rowan Gill College kicking the ball inside the field. Taken there by Nils Labat, the fly off. The referee saying it's a penalty. Advantage to Gill College. They are going for a scrum. Mr. Bronson will be taking the scrum.
And Gill's got the ball. Oh, oh Ross Ward Jordan nearby. Daniels Gil College knocks it. Making it very critical during a crucial time. Not really a mistake that one can do now. Very critical time. The points remain 31 to 0 in favor of Cradock High School. If you have joined us now, the points remain 31 to 0 in the favor of Cradock High School. And it's Reinhard Geyer, the captain, that's driving for the line. And they're going to the blind side. And here it comes, Izzy Pile Jose. Elias Vitali there defending. Oh, it's a try there. And for well Gil done. Gill scored. For Gill College. Gill College saying, we can't come all the way, travel all the way from Somerset East and not even score a try, even a single one. Yeah, it's there, try there. So now it's 31 points to five. And if the conversion is successful, it will be 31 to seven. Zika Ventura kicking for post. And fortunately for the visiting side, Gill College, the ball was not successful, the conversion was not successful. The points remain 31 points to 5 in the favor of the home side. Ten minutes are away and JJ is back on the field. Hopefully such a silly mistake can never happen again. Wayland Davids who got the ball there. Gill's driving. If oh, the ball was lost forward there. Badly. By the loose head of Gill College. Stolen there by Gill College. Ball doesn't come out clean for Gill. Um, Craddock's got the advantage. Ball is out, Neil Stabat. Long ball there, long ball, JJ. Keanu just missed the ball. Fortunately, Keanu was taken out there by. Sibulele Mbraza. It's a high tackle, the referee claims. Keanu van Weg, the fullback of the team, is experiencing difficulties there.
Keanu van Dijk is back on the field. High tackle there. The victim, <laughs> rather the, 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 the person who's feeling the pain there is Keanu van Dijk. But fortunately for him, he's a man of rugby, has to be back at the field, has to kick for touch now. Kick for touch now. Kenny Collard has to do his thing. You have Quick down the comment. Um, Kenny Collard has the ball. Scrum now for Guild College. He's given another opportunity to, 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 to play the ball. Malkin Rafferty, looking good. Ball coming to Reinhard Geier. He's gone to the blind side. Not releasing the ball, and it's a Craddock ball. Craddock High School getting the ball there. Penalty for Craddock High School, penalizing Gill College. It's gonna be a long day, as I said. Keanu van Weg kicking the ball to, for touch. Keanu van Weg kicking the ball to touch. Just beyond 50 meters off the field. Line out there for Cradock High School. Kenny Collett going again for a third attempt. Elise Vitali Cop, Rowan Smith. Um, fortunately, the referee says the ball was skewed. Therefore, it's a Gill College ball. Gill College boy, the ball by Isipile. Jose. And the, go, the, the ball goes back to Gil Cradock High School. Short arm there from the referee, Mr. Johan van der Merwe, the referee for the day. Rowan Smith has the ball in hand. Passing it to Neil Slobot. Jakub Slobot, the brothers, have the ball in hand. Clean, great clean there from Jakub Slobot. Showing sub to the with the ball in hand. The Sia Kolisi. Whitey. Nil. Buata with the ball. Buata with the ball. Gaining meters. Buata. Buata with the ball in hand. Gaining meters there for his own team. Credit High School. Neil Slabad in the ball. Neil. Get, take the field. Oh, man. He bumps the guy there. Neil Slabad. He's saying that this is my final game of the season. Paramedics are needed there for the Guild College boy. Paramedics have been working hard this afternoon. Yeah, it is indeed. Um, Guild College has been has been just defending throughout this game. Um, seen a few little times where they were attacking 
but it was not really what we can refer to as attacking. They just had the ball in hand. And Kuala High School is just, 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 just attacking. But there is great defense slightly from Gill College. They're managing the game more properly than they did in the first half. And uh, they're just moving in that direction. They were able to score a try now, and un unfortunately they could not successfully kick the conversion. And therefore the score remains 31 to 5 in the favor of the home side. Girl player, they're experiencing difficulties, medical issues, but the paramedics are attending to that. He's fine though. He's not taken out. He's fine. Emilia for just needed to be attended to. Uh, see if Emilia is returning to his place. <laughs> yeah. Lovely kick there by Keanu. Keanu kicking a lovely ball there. Um, the pavilion is full of students from Kellogg High School making a lovely noise in the background, making sure that everyone, every single player on the field is motivated and cheered. Who stays in with the ball in hand? The referee trying to monitor the entire situation there as he blows his whistle. It's a scrum there for the little short man, Whitey. Rowan Smith. Now allow me to mention that this first team that's playing, Kedok High School, um, after a very, very long time, was able to defeat Union um, in a home game. So they were able to cope. Um, and in our season, when you defeat you, oh, oh, man, Sukila Sala, Sukila Sala, and Dosakuti, Luan Ray, Olifir, went into a dream, Dosaman Japa, a Kayan, and Dosakuti, Kunzan Jokta, Ola Lamna, a Kalike, Luan Ray, Olifir, making his way there to the twilight. 36 now to nil. 36 points to nil. 36 points, sorry, to five. 36 points to five. <laughs> 36 points to Keanu van Weyck going for another attempt. If we can really recap, all his kicks were successful today. All his kicks were successful today. And so currently standing at 100% over 100% kicking position. Denzel Mayer's assisting. Oh! Lovely man! After difficult times of trying. It's 38 points now to 5. 38 points now to 5 in the favor of the home side. Um, well, <laughs> if I was one of the coaches from Guild College, I'd say I had enough now. <laughs> but it's part of sport. It's sportsmanship to cope until the last whistle of the game. Lovely kick there by Gil College. Logan Rock goes there. for the ball. And it's going wide. Seems like Waylon David's running down the line. Seems like it's a high tackle there by Gil College penalizing Kelo High School. Penalty there for them. And Izzy Pili goes for the line again. He's being held up, and that's Ivan Klee, 
It's just short of the line. Oh! And the ball is thrown Pierce by steals the ball Braddock. or stays and takes the ball there. The referee is calling them back. Craddock High School ball. It's a Craddock High School boy. It's a scrum and uh, will be put by Rowan Smith with the assistance there by off water. Sorry, Zandero stays in. And get back to Rowan Smith, I guess. Rowan Smith in the ball. Keanu van Wijk. Keanu van Wijk with the ball. Experiencing injuries there on the field. Experiencing injuries on the field again. Simanya Dwili entering the field there. Simanya Dwili entering the field there. Number 17 of Kerak High School. Joining the forward pack with the skipper of number 17. I think it's the last movement of the day. I see the referee there is taking his time. Let's see what can Gil College do. Reinhard Geier driving with the ball. Gil College. Going for the corner. Gil College. Ball in hand. Gil College, ball in hand. Gil College. With the ball in hand. Five meters scrum for Guild College. Guild College with ball in hand. And balls coming down the back line. And a Sibulele, number 14. Keanu van Vig losing the ball. Taken, uh, it is indeed now. Line out for Kredok High School. Line out there and for Kredok High School. There's an injury as well. There's an injury there for Keanu van Vig. Yeah, having an injury there of Keanu van Weg, scholar of Kredak High School, lying on the floor. We have the people attending to it. Assistant coach, Mr. Groblar, is also there assisting the player, Keanu van Weg, is on the floor. Another player there entering the field. The score is indeed 38 to 5 points in favor of Kerok High School. Mm -hmm. 
bowl in the hands of I think it is Kenny Collett. Yes, Kenny Collett with the ball. It's a mole there. Cradle High School has the ball in hand. Mulling the ball down. Mulling the ball down. Cradle High School. Mole has been collapsed there by Gill College. Advantage there for Cradle High School as Neil Slobber takes the lead. Grown Smith with the ball. Buck kick. Penalty there. Penalizing. Oh, there's a movement ongoing there. Um, but the referee said earlier on. Advantage to Craddock High School. Kianu van Weg leaving the field after a very, very long first half and second half for him. Working there. Oh, going there. Oh, going there. Let's go on, ladies and gentlemen. Last tackle by Emilia Phyllis. To meta off him. Penalty uh, for Gil, Gil College. College. Not releasing Emilio. the ball. Not releasing the ball. Oh, lovely tackle there by Mr. Olifir. Andre Olifir. Oh, penalty there. Advantage for Cradock High School. Not releasing the ball. Not releasing the ball. Super excited there. Whitey. Rowan Smith. Neil Slobart has the ball in hand. Kicking for touch. Lovely kick there by Neil Slobart. Let's see what Neil Slobart can do with the ball. Neil Slobart with the ball. Kenny Collard, a brother of Andrew Collard, also played first team for quite some years in this same yellow and blue jersey. Elise Vitali with the ball. Lovely ball. Slobart. Changing the direction. Showing sub to it. With their hands of beast. Oh, lovely ball there. Oh, yes, they go. Yes, they go. As they go. It's really a day here. Against Gale College and Craddock High School. If you just joined us, it's 38 points to 5 in the favor of Craddock High. Gale College granted another opportunity. Isipi also having the ball in hand. Great line out there by Gill College. Ball is out. Lost forward. Referee saying it is indeed a scrum penalty scrum for the home side, Kerak High. Ball in the hands of Rowan Smith. They call him YT. He has the ball. Lengthy back line there. Ball is out. Luan Rayolifir in the hands of YT. Neil Slobot. Oh, almost there, Neil. Great clean there by Cradock High School. Lost forward by Cradock High School. Pelanzalon <laughs> 
Alala, Tosa Kuti Kute, Manigini, Sapata Lamdalo, while I'm a kid of high school. The command of Balapa Kakus and Tosa Kuti, Onka Makrela, Livumele, and Nitikuni, Awini, Susala, Kukela, we under fourteen year old top, Kukela Lokala, Eli Melisco, and Tosa Kuti, Maspinisiban. We are in Shilin Yelens, Mapang, we are putting Bola, Umkil and Gondosa Kuti, and Ghost.